here with the author of Both And, a new book by Huma Abedin. He went on to become uh, a dear friend of Secretary Clinton's, and I'm wondering, well, what was that? What what kind of pressure was put on that friendship, given uh, the scandal that your husband brought to you? I know in 2013 that you you defended your husband, and and did you think at that moment, because you did that, that your relationship with Secretary Clinton was over? No. Um, because I know... never worried about that? No. You didn't think you were going to get canned? No, because I know Hillary Clinton. And, and there's a whole chapter in my book called Hillary Land. Um, and as I say, Hillary Land is a club that comes with lifetime membership. And I joined that club in 1996. And it's not just me. There's a, a very broad group of us, mostly women, but there are men in the club, too. And with that feeling, and you know, I grew up in the Middle East, the uh, first part of the book is about growing up in Saudi Arabia, and one of the things I liked about the way I grew up is that I was surrounded by a very supportive community. We call it the Ummah in, uh, in, in Muslim communities. I left Saudi Arabia, came to the White House, and I found that sense of community in Hillary Land. And she has always been there for me, just as she is for anybody who works, um, works for her. And every time I've had a challenge in my life, she's approached it as a friend first and as a boss second. Like after the first scandal, and um, I don't know if people remember this, like I wasn't even 12 weeks pregnant. I was carrying Anthony's child. And it was such a shock and a trauma to my system. And she had my mother and brother fly in, you know, we were in Abu Dhabi on a State Department official visit. And she flew my family in just so they could be there with me. And that's, that's what That's lovely to do. know that you have that. Yeah. It's lovely to know that you have that. Um, You, you may have covered this in the book. Forgive me if you've already said I'm this sure in the book. I'm sure I did, but go ahead. Is, yeah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's many words. It's many <laughs> words in this book. <laughs> Is that, did you, did you and Secretary Clinton ever discuss uh, if she had been elected in 2016, whether you'd be chief of staff? Oh, God, no. Why not? Well, she was, she was not presumptuous about anything. And I don't think I was qualified to be chief of staff. Do you think I was? No. What does it take? Um, Ron Klain. Ron what, Klain. What Ron, Ron Klain, Klain got that you ain't Ron, got? Ron Klain. He can explain like explain things, but that's all I know. Chief of staff. See, look, this is. I mean, I don't know. I know I don't look that old, and I. I mean, I. Well, I've just started coloring my hair. To be honest, the first time last week, really for your show. Looks good. But, good color. Okay. I know these people for 25 years, so I've known Ron. I've been to more debate preps with Ron Klain than mm -hmm. I can remember. I was at the White House when Tony Blinken was the hipster, you know, national security advisor dating the beautiful Evan Ryan. Like, he's still all, very hip. He he's is still very, very hip. hip. When, you know, we'd run into Senator Joe Biden on the Amtrak um, every week. So I've known, I've, I've known these people for a really long time. They're, but would you have wanted the job? Would you have taken the job if it had been offered to you? That's a hypothetical. Answer it. <laughs> I, I don't know. I you mean, don't know? No, I think. No, probably is it not. Is superstitious? You wouldn't even want it to is, say it? It is. It is superstitious. And I'm also not sure it would have been big enough for me. Not a big enough job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just making Reach that up. Reach for the up. brass ring, baby. This is, you know. So much, thank you so much for being here. The book, Both And, is available tomorrow. Oh, my happy Dean, everybody. We'll be right back with David Byrne.